Now, in an effort to reach minority communities, last month, the state of Florida did partner with seven churches. Here in Jacksonville, that was St. Matthew Church. And now those who receive their shots, a lot of them are confused about when and where they will get their second dose. So Ken Amaro is on your side now, joining us with Anthony. Hey, Heather, you know, when St. Matthew got the call about being a location for COVID-19 vaccines, Pastor George Price says it was an easy decision simply because some members of his congregation had experienced coronavirus and the church is right here in the black community. Perhaps it can reach some of the members in the black community. The church was given 500 doses or 500 doses were administered here at the church and it was by appointment only. Those who thought it was walk in simply walked up to this appointment. Now, Karen Riley and her husband were here on January the 10th to receive their vaccine. Uh, they're now ready for the second dose, and they say that they're experiencing what they call a communication void. They don't know when and they don't know where. Mr. Riley's husband has some underlying conditions, and she says she's been trying to find out exactly where she's going to get the second dose of her COVID vaccine, and so far, she's hit a dead end. When we got our shot, the nurse that gave us our shot said that this would not be a location for a second vaccine. She gave us, she said, you need to come back on, Feb on um, uh, February 7th for your second vaccine, uh, but someone will call you with a time and location because it won't be here at the church. And I haven't heard anything, so maybe I better be checking because they've got to schedule appointments for us somewhere. So I've called the city, I've called the Florida Department of Health, um, and neither of them know anything about the St. Matthews. Well, I checked with the Duval County Department of Health and we were told the in initiative was actually set up by the state and not our local incident management team. So unfortunately, I do not have any further details that can help out these viewers. So the question tonight is, how could this be? Well, I've reached out to the Florida Emergency Management Team and I've spoken with the pastor of the church tonight at six. I'll tell you what I found out. Back to you.